Yeah, a good win. I thought um, we were more aggressive in the first half. I thought Southeastern was more aggressive in the second half. We had them on their heels early. They had us on our heels, their heels, and our heels in the second half. Uh, but you know, Hade and, and Garcia made plays for us, um, which we, we, you know, which was uh, which was huge. So it was a good win. You know, there's a reason they were picked first. They got a good team. They played a really, really challenging schedule um, so far on the road at New Orleans and on the road at Nichols, on the road at us. I think they got Corpus next. So um, you know, pretty pretty tough schedule for them. Really tough schedule for them so far. And so we've got to um, enjoy this, but turn the page and get ready for you know Lamar, who's three and O coming in here on Monday. I mean, we got open looks, but the guys moved the ball and were aggressive and attacking. And I mean, we can draw up whatever we want, but if they don't make, you know, they, they're the ones who make it happen. So uh, I thought they did a great job. We did a great job sharing the ball, driving the ball, skipping the ball out. JG got off to a good start. Hade got off to a good start. And so, you know, we, we really, uh, we really moved the ball, uh, moved, moved the ball well in the first half. And then they extended their pressure in the second half, and, and we, uh, we were a lot more stagnant and, and didn't get in the gaps as much. You just mentioned it that Southeastern was better in the first, you said you didn't like it in the second. Is there is there trend in anything in this year or anything about I mean look, it's the third of eighteen conference games, so it's it's we got a long way to go, but uh, I think we play them again in like three weeks. We play them again here pretty quick. The schedule's kind of, I think we play them twice before we play some other teams even once. Um, so it's a little bit a uh, little bit quirky, but they've got a really good team. Uh, they got a good. Uh, they got a good group. They got a good, you know, good coaching staff. And you know, we let twenty, who's a three-point specialist, get loose, uh, make six threes. And um, you know, they uh, they did a good job. They screened their own man a couple times against our switching and and got loose. And and, and um, you know, they're they're a good team, good program, and they're going to be at the they're going to be at the top of the league um, as um, as we move forward here in conference season. You talked you talked about it a little bit. Um, Twenty days ago, I think. Said you were going to get every team's best effort and you knew that coming into this. Um, just the Chiefs continue to pull out these wins. They were only down two late third in the game and then the team that pulled together and then that puts together an extra run to pull the win to win. Um, just what does that continue to say about this team? They've done it basically the three times now, got the best effort in six and continue to pull out and you've been able to pull it out. Yeah, I mean, look, we've, we've made plays when we've needed to. It hadn't always been hadn't always been pretty, but we've, we've made plays. You know, we had a 15 point, 16 point lead in the first half, I think a 15 point lead in the second half. We've got we've to be able to, to not put ourselves in those situations. We've got to keep, keep, uh, keep our pedal to the metal and keep, keep going a little bit better than we, than we, uh, than we have. And so that's, that's going to be important moving forward. You've got to have discipline to get a lead like that, then you've got to have discipline to, to keep the lead and extend the lead, and you can't lose what got you there. And so we had a little bit of that today, which is a a good problem to have and something that we'll, we'll, we'll try to solve. Tom, your coach has said that Southeast has hired a winning effort team. Did you use that at all this week? <laughs> when did he say that? <laughs> Hottie said that. Huh? Said that. said that. Oh, he did. I've tried his name six, six times. I didn't, um, I, don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> um, you did say this week, though, that you were going to talk about the talk much about the uh, second quarter of the preseason game? I mean, our guys our guys knew that. I didn't have to say a whole lot about it. How do you judge the second half? It felt like the upper third and third was falling a little bit. It was just the game. Maybe it was a bug that they got 16 fouls total in the first half, and then within the first 10 minutes, they had 16 in the, in the, in the second half. And that kind of mucked up things a little bit. How do you get your guys to kind of push through that when the game kind of seemed, appears to switch how quick it is? Well, I think the game got, you know, and doesn't. I, I wouldn't say it was had to do with the officiating, but I think it got, it got much more um, bogged down in the second half, which was to Southeastern's advantage. When we could play free flowing and play fast and play in the full court and get up and down, that was to our advantage. And it got it got bogged down, and we were playing, in, you know, we were playing in mud a little bit in the second half. And when you're doing that, I think that was to Southeastern's advantage. That's how they like to play. That's how they're they're really good um, playing. And so. Um, you know, we, uh, we we played the game on our terms in the first half and their terms on the second half. Luckily, you know, we had enough of a cushion from the first half that we were able to survive that in the second half. 
that he didn't really feel like he was going to be inside of the church for a phase. But he really looked like he was a little bit down. So that's probably for the zone. Well, we've been wanting him to be more aggressive. I've told y'all, I mean, he's a really, really good player. Um, and he's, you know, we need him to come out and, and, and show it. And, and um, he, uh, he's been, uh, he, he's been good for us all year, but there's another, there's another, uh, you know, step that he could take and hopefully he can be consistent now moving forward. This is what we saw all preseason from him. This is what we've seen a lot of the year and, and, and we've got to continue to get him to progress and, and keep playing like this. But we want him to be aggressive for sure. You know, I, I think he'd been a little bit timid and, uh, you know, we needed him to be uh, aggressive and and uh, he, w he was much more aggressive. We had good shooters. I mean, Jones made two big free throws. He's a good free throw shooter. Ade made his. Garcia made his. And so, um, you know, and, and, and shoemates were, I think he was four of nine today, but his were better today. I mean, they were they all missed long. They all missed the same. Like, it's a, it's a little more on, on, on target right now. Now we've got to get the, you know, now we got to get the distance down. But uh, his were his were improved today. And, and um, uh, his corner three looked good again. You know, I mean, he, he, he's close to, to, to really uh, – Really making some things happen. What did you say about Lawrence Eaton Gillis? <coughs> Twenty-two minutes without a point in the Big Ten game against Northern Kentucky. Yeah, I mean that's that's how he is. I mean, he's a special, special player, special, special player, and so uh, we're very, very fortunate, uh, very, very fortunate to have him. And uh, we just gotta keep it, uh, you know, keep it going. Probably the positive from the day was obviously we talked about turnovers a couple of days ago. And yeah, I think we only turned it over eight yeah. times, right? Yeah. like it that we didn't turn it over. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, I mean, you know, we cut our turnovers basically in half from Northwestern. And, uh, you know, I, I like the fact that if we don't turn it over, I mean, rule number one to being a good offensive team is shoot it before you turn it over. And if you can do that on every possession, you, you're going to be fairly, fairly, fairly good on offense. How, how much will it be different tomorrow playing tomorrow? Well, I mean, look, they've got a really, really good big. Their leading scorer, 20, is a big. Um, they play around him. They've got some good shooters. DB Knights, really good shooter. I think their kid Anderson went off today for 25 down at Nichols. He's a physical, physical driver. Uh, plays the three and the four for him. Uh, they got a point guard, a little point guard prior that's kind of like East. You know, I mean, th th there's some, there's some similarities, but they run around and trap a lot more. I mean, they're going to pressure us. They're they're top 15, 10 or 15 in the country in terms of points in transition and being able to take their defense and convert to offense. So. They, they, they're going to play a lot faster than, 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 than Southeastern did. But there's some, um, uh, you know, they, they, they've got some personnel similarities, I guess you could say. But, but stylistically, they're, they're very, very different. Kind of just piggyback off that team you came with tomorrow. This should be your first battle of the Bears, really. Um, just how exciting is that for the team and as a coach to come into the rivalry game like this, especially probably a big crowd there? Yeah, I mean, I thought our crowd today was awesome. What, we have 4,200 in there today, about 100 short of a sellout. So, I mean, I thought that was – thought our crowd was great. The students were there, which was great. The band was awesome. So, we appreciate – we appreciate everybody coming out. And, I mean, look, it's a it's a big deal for our fans. You know, just like UL is a big deal to beat them. I mean, or ULL, I guess. And, um, uh, you know, I, I think I think Lamar is, an, uh, you know, a, a, an old rival. And look, they're good. I mean, they'll bring some people over from Beaumont. They've got a they've got they've got a good team this year. They're very very good. And they're, they're over 500. They're three and zero in the league, and so they got a they got a good looking group. And and um, you know it'll be uh, be a good game. And uh, we'll, we'll have our we'll have our guys as prepared as we can be here on this short turnaround. You said 